Hey guys, today I'm gonna be doing a massive American makeup haul, literally a huge one. Hold on. So here is the box with all the makeup that I got from America and let me explain to you Oh god, this is big. Let me explain to you what I mean by American makeup. Some of the brands have their like a base in America. So it's pretty hard for us in the EU to get our hands on like items that just launched or they're brand new or so on so on. You get the drill. So before we jump into it, make sure to follow me on my social media if you want to chat with me or if you want to check out my news and what's going on on the channel and stuff. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like if you do like this video and without further rumbling, let's dive into the haul. Okay, so I don't know where to put this box because it's massive. Maybe I should like cut it down or something. I don't know. It's, it's massive and it's in front of me and you know what? I'll put it on the floor. So I was thinking we're either going to do same type of makeup or same brand. And I'm thinking we're going to do it by brand. So I'm going to be showing you what I got from each brand and this is how we're going to do this. Okay, so I think my biggest order was from BH Cosmetics as in items, not money. Because... Actually, yeah, I think money-wise as well. Anyways, let's just jump into it. Um, the first thing I got is the Illuminate by Ashley Teasdale brush set. And it has eight brushes in here. Like, first of all, can we just talk about the packaging? It's so gorgeous. So beautiful. And I do have the brushes outside to show you guys. So you basically get a powder brush. And these guys are so soft. Like, I don't understand why no beauty gurus are talking about BH Cosmetics brushes, guys. They're such good quality. Like, they've stepped up the game so much. The brushes are absolutely insane quality, and you literally get them for a fraction of, for example, a MAC brush. Like, these are amazing. So, yeah, you get a powder brush, then you get sort of like a... You could use this for, like, under eye powder, or even for contouring, or for highlighting. It's kind of, like, tapered here, like, pinched on the sides. Um, then you get a dual fiber brush, which I think I will really like this for blush because these types of brushes usually tend to apply less product more evenly. So I think I would like this for bronzer or for blush. Um, then you've got kind of like an angled one, which I think is going to be perfect for contouring. And then we go to the eye brushes. You get a little pencil brush, which I think is like the perfect size. It's like Hold on, it jumped back into the box. So yeah, I think this one is the perfect fat pencil brush to go underneath your eye and it's super soft and not scratchy, which is absolutely important for under eyes. And then it has this like tapered again crease brush, so it's like more detailed to get into your crease. Then it has a super big fluffy brush, like look at it on my eye, it's like huge. This is like the tiniest liner brush I've seen. I think they would be really good for brows and I think this would also be really good for eyeliner so I'm dying to try this. So yeah, I got this brush set and I also got the Rose Quartz 9 piece brush set. Um, it is this one right here. You can see the packaging is sort of like similar, like sort of has like the same packaging but here you can like see the brushes, here it has like the marble effect absolutely love the marble effect here are the brushes you can see like the little marble effect on the um actual brush is so adorable so first they give you like an angled i think it's like a powder brush but i'm really intrigued to use this for foundation because it feels really really soft and i'm not really good with brushes for my foundation they tend to like really cake up my foundation like no matter what foundation i've used it with it tends to cake it up like from mac to maybelline to essence to all that stuff then we get a sort of like a kind of like a powder brush again this is tapered also it's like pinched here you can literally use this for anything you can use this for like bronzer blush you can like buff in your uh, highlighter with this one it's amazing you can do your under eye area I love this and you can also use it for powder why not then we've got two sort of highlighter brushes 
This one is more of like a, a flimsy highlighter brush, so this would be good for like blush as well. And this is more dense, so I think this one would be perfect for applying and buffing in your highlighter. And also this one, like if you want more of a more of a natural wash of highlight in your cheeks, I think this one would be perfect. And this one is also perfect for like under eye powder. Then we go to a ton of eye brushes. Like first of all, there's this tapered, it's kind of like a shader brush because it's like really dense and really stiff. So it's like to pack color on your eyes. I think this would be perfect to blend uh, out eyeshadow base or put like the powder or the shadow on top of the base. Then we have the teeniest blending brush like look how tiny this is i think this would be perfect for like under eye stuff to blend and also think that would be perfect guys for a cut crease like to blend your cut crease with that i think it would be so so easy because you don't have to mess with like a blending brush like this to do your cut crease and then it goes everywhere and then you have to cut everything with your concealer i think you have so much control with such a small tiny brush then we do have a brush that i'm not sure what i'm gonna use for i think i might use this for like carving out the brows which i don't really do this is why my brows look like a mess like today next we have another sort of like mm, this could be like a really fat pencil brush or a crease brush it's like kind of the bigger version of this one, if you can see, guys. And then we have like a very uh, flimsy um, crease brush again. Next thing I saw that they just launched lashes, and they just launched them the day that I did my order. So I was like, of course, I want to try the lashes. And these remind me a little bit of, um, what is it? The, not the Iconics. I'm not sure. I wanted to try a pair of House of Lashes that looked exactly like this, but... Before I buy very expensive lashes, I want to see if the style actually like suits my eyes. So these ones were $3.50. I found them a huge bargain. It does have lash glue inside if you don't have any lash glue. And I can't wait to put them on my eyes to see if the actual style fits me. Next, they had also just launched their concealer. So obviously I jumped on that as well. I love trying out new concealers because my under eye is so freaking dry that a lot of the concealers just don't do anything like yes they're gonna cover but then they're gonna get so patchy and so crumbly and ooh, it just looks and feels terrible on my skin so i got the total coverage concealer by studio pro line and this is in the shade i don't think it has a shade oh it has a number 102 then i quickly grabbed the bh studio pro makeup brush cleanser because i think this would be a great transition cleanser uh between me using my brushes like if i do my makeup now and then i take it off and i want to do it again you know like in between instead of having to wash your brushes it's very good to like give it a fresh clean obviously i'm not gonna stop like washing my brushes every two or three weeks or every month i'm too lazy but you know it's a really good freshen up for like in between uses of your brushes then i got the beads liquid eyeliner uh for free with my order because if you guys are ordering from BH Cosmetics, you will know that they have sales the whole time and they do give a lot of freebies. So this was one of the freebies I got and just, yeah, obviously I have like a swatch, obviously, but yeah, look at this. This is so black and like so precise. I'm so intrigued to try this out. I can't wait. Then, of course, I had to grab the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition palette. I do have the previous one as well. And you guys, this one is even prettier. Look at this. That is so... Oh, you can see my camera there. Hello. This is so gorgeous, guys. It's absolutely stunning. This shade right here, the pink one with the gold reflect, makes me want to do things to it. Right, let me just, let me just swatch it. Holy, it's so, so, so pretty, guys. And blended out, it just looks like this. This shade is calling my name. The last thing I got from BH is the Spotlight Highlight 6 color palette. And it looks like that. And of course, I have dipped my fingers in it and swatched it. And from the swatches, you would think that this shade up here would be like a pure white and that this would be warmer but if i swatch them for you guys even on my fingers you can tell that 
this one is like lighter and this one is warmer so this one is this one right here and this one is like this one right here so guys i swatched them right here for you and this one right here is the one that is the brightest one as you can see and the other one next to it is the one right below it has the prettiest coral peachy undertone ever this is my favorite shade so far by just watching it but i'm thinking that the only actual highlighters i'll be able to use is this one this one and maybe this pinky one right here but the rest will get a lot of love on my eyes next brand is la girl and of course I had to try the la girl pro covers hd high definition look wear illuminating foundation you guys i think what people have been saying on the internet is true this is the shade fair and like if you look on myself like this one is the lightest shade they have on their website and it's too dark for me and i know what people are going to say we have a white foundation which you can mix in with the fair shade and get your perfect match but to be honest nobody has ever really said that why should you have to buy two foundations when you want to try one foundation for example if a fair girl wants to try this foundation and just buy one why do you have to buy two to actually get your shade anyway enough rambling about this of course i'm going to try it and we're gonna try to like drag it down the neck and see how it looks and everything but I'm still bummed by the fact that they didn't really have a fair enough shade and they're like well if you want the fair shade like the really fair shade um, then you should buy the white foundation as well and this should not really be the case I also grabbed the LA Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer and this is in the shade Corselet then I went on went on wild and because Tati Glam Life Guru has been raving about the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation I went ahead and grabbed one as well so I got my shade in nude ivory but that's not really my shade this is more of a neutral pinky undertone I did get a little sample in soft ivory which is my actual shade so if I do like this and I think that I cannot work uh, with this color in my skin because like on camera it looks like it would match but it would be a little bit too pinkish but yeah, since Tati has been raving about this, I needed to try that. Also, I grabbed the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder in the shade Warm Light. And this was the lighter shade they had. And Catherine Lights has been raving about this. And because I have the feeling that I have sort of the same skin type with Kathleen. Um, this is why I picked this up because she said she absolutely loves it. And hoping over to Milani, another item that Kathleen Lice has been raving about is the Milani Make It Last setting spray. She's literally said she's got like five backups. And this is what it looks like. I really like that for a drugstore brand, the packaging looks so nice. That, like this looks like it's glass. Obviously it's plastic, but I think it just looks so pretty with like the gold letters and everything and the like frosted little bottle here and i'm so so excited to use that also from milani i grabbed the prime light face primer strobing and pore minimizing oil free primer <sighs> these names pretty long so you get 30 ml in this one and this says that it primes the skin to create a smooth canvas before applying any foundation, hydrates and instantly brightens lackluster skin, it can be applied post foundation for additional radiance. Lightweight with a natural luminous finish, universally flattering glow, does not clog pores. I love what I'm hearing and I cannot wait to try this. And yes, I finally got my hands on the Milani Bake Plus in Luminoso. This is absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna start from like the packaging. You get a really nice mirror and a nice brush right here. And the color of this blush, so freaking pretty. Oh my God, it's this one right here. I die for sheer blushes with a wash of glowiness in them. I don't like very pigmented blushes like the MAC ones because I find like they tend to make me look like a clown, sort of. This one is so freaking pretty and it's so shiny. You can't see because my swatch is absolutely terrible. Next up, I know I'm late to this train, but I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit. And 
I'm so in love guys I'm so in love with this obviously here I've dipped my hands into it straight away when it came to my house because I couldn't help it and by far my favorite shade is the one that I thought would be my favorite shade is the pearlescent white pink one where shall I swatch it you know what I will swatch it right on top of the um, here oh my god it doesn't show good on camera you guys, when I swatched this on my hands, I literally fell in love with it instantly. This one is my favorite shade by far. It's kind of a vanilla shade and it's a duochrome pink. And then I really, really like the Lucky Clover, which has like a green tint and star, which is a pure silver. Now, blue eyes is too blue to put on my face, and also purple horseshoe is too purpley bluish to put on my face as a like a true highlight but i think blue moon could be a highlight on me we'll try this out anyways i'm absolutely in love with this i can't wait to put them on my face and i can't wait to specifically put them on my eyes because these look like they would be gorgeous on the eyes and like to play with different colors in the inner corner like for highlights can't wait now, last place I visited is Juvia's place. Oh, how convenient, it rhymed. This is the Masquerade palette by Juvia's and you guys, I've never touched better quality eyeshadows ever. And oh, I don't know, this look stunning. I'm just going to do some swatches for you of mattes and shimmers and I'm just gonna put them on my arm as well so you can see how flipping pigmented these are. Like, look at the. Like, obviously, my swatches are terrible, like always. I don't know where to put them exactly, but this look like I put liquid lipstick on my arm. This looks like full pigmented liquid lipstick. So, yeah, I grabbed the Masquerade palette, which is absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to play with it. It has all the warm neutrals. Pinks and burgundies and purples is what I die for. I think they look fantastic with green or hazel eyes. Really, the mattes, the mattes are so buttery and pigmented. I did not expect it. Like, I heard people rave about it, but I'm like, okay, sure. How good can it be, though? You guys, these are really freaking good. And look at the size of that. It's the size of my head. And the last piece I got from Juvia's is the Saharan palette and I'm also in love with this one. Oh, the colors. You know what guys? I'm not gonna lie, I bought this palette for this color right here and I'm like, if it doesn't turn out to be the perfect gold green, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Well, that's like liquefied gold guys. The palettes I don't know, it's like, I haven't even put them on my eyes, but the swatches, oh, they're so good. The quality, the price, the everything is so freaking good. These are absolutely amazing. I do recommend them by just swatching them. Guys, look at the state of my arm. So yeah, that was pretty much all I got. Um, I'm so excited to try every single piece on my face. I'm of course going to do a first impressions video trying everything because I think I do have a full face of first impressions with everything I bought. I'm just, I'm not sure which eye palette to try first. It's like, I've got three of them and I think like I'm gonna put everything on my eyes. It's like, I'm like at this stage where you like wanna play with everything and you just wanna put everything on yourself and I'm like, hold up we're gonna do it one at a time but yeah i want to thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye bye